this is a fine motor activity for a preschooler that's learning lines and then also um, we call it bilateral integration skills because he has to hold the stickers and then use this other hand to get the sticker off and then he has to pinch in order to do that and then visually he's working his eyes because he has to find the line attend to the line and then accuracy wise place the sticker on the line So these stickers are the right size for him. They're not those real little small circle stickers, but they're not too big either. So we're looking for that just right challenge so that he has to work to get them off, but not too much where he gets frustrated and gives up on the idea. So since he is doing fairly well getting the stickers right on the straight line, next I'm going to draw him a curved line. We changed this activity to make it a little more difficult. So now not only does he have the curved line instead of a straight line, he's standing up. <laughs> Can you do one more? Okay, let me see you do one more. So the reason I have it on a vertical surface is it makes it more difficult... <laughs> Can you get it on the curved line? See if you can get it on the line. Hey again. So my three-year-old, um, that was probably too much to ask of him to go from doing an activity at the table and then to do something harder. Um, three-year-old detention spans just aren't that long, especially when it's an activity that um, might not, he likes stickers, so it was fun, but it, it didn't have that same value um, to keep his attention um, as another activity might. So that was, that was my bad, but also a good thing to note. Also, for um, some of my students, I think that having a motivating factor would be um, very important to get them to engage in this activity. So examples would be um, a first then. So first you do the stickers, and if they need help, then you can give them help with it. Um, then they get whatever it may be, whether it's a fruit snack or... Um, Whatever is motivating to them, bar. if it's a granola bar, not a whole granola bar probably, um, but just something that's reasonable that they that they want. Maybe it's a toy, maybe it's, um, you know, 10 minutes on the tablet, something like that. Um, so I had my daughter do, because I still wanted to give you the example of the curve line. Can you show them how you go into a high kneel? Mm -hmm. So we call this a high kneel. I'm trying to angle it here. So she's on her knees and it's working her core strength and then pretend you're putting the sticker on and then she has to reach up. So we're still working on core strength and arm strength, and then it has all the other components with the, the eye tracking, the bilateral skills, um, aim, being able to put it on a line. So you're working on a lot of different things at once. So um, for some students, that, that's going to be difficult. As a parent, um, try to gauge how much help they need and only give them the help that they need. That way they are doing as much as they can on their own and learning the skills um, without someone doing it for them. But they're also, it's that just right challenge, they're also not overly frustrated where they give up and shut down um, before trying. So I hope this video helps and gives you something to do for, you know, five minutes of your day. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.